welcome back to the Spiders Web. And in this video, we're going to be finishing off our unboxing series on uh, the Order of Vampire Hunters. And this one I've kept till last. It's the third of the big box expansions. You'll see why. Because how could we have anything to do with vampires without the Great One himself? This expansion is Castle Dracula. Okay, so here we have Castle Dracula, the third of the big box expansions, as I said earlier, for the Order of Vampire Hunters. And there's the front. Let's have a look at the back. So, what do we have in here? Let's open. Oops. There we go. That's not what to do with slicing the box. Okay, Castle Dracula is a thrilling adventure that allows you to relive the infamous gothic novel. The campaign takes your hunters on a whirlwind journey from England to Romania as you lead your own investigation into Count Dracula, keeping one step ahead of the Order who have their own reasons for holding you back. Only you and your mentor Bram stand between Dracula's evil presence and the world. We have four highly detailed plastic miniatures two double-sided map tiles, 20 Dracula activation to uh, sorry, activation cards, three vampire ID cards, one real book and four new hunts. Let us turn over. You can see the box in a little more detail after the light has finished shining on it. <laughs> okay, let's get the lid off and see what we have. Here we go, we have the obligatory rule and scenario book, um, page for notes, 17 pages, not including the page for notes. We have three, sorry, four hunts, put one, two, three and four obviously. There's the campaign. It's a standalone campaign, I would assume. And here we have the all you need to know. You can mix it in, but the campaign itself is standalone. <coughs> and we have the boards. Again, nice, nice and detailed boards. Nice thickness. Oh, that's good. Oh, that really is nice, isn't it? <laughs> That's one board. Let's turn this the right way so you can see what we're looking at. And then we turn it over. We have the chapel. And then we have what I like to call yet another pizza, bo pizza box of also. It doesn't have pizza, but it has something that's almost as good, if not better. Let's have a look inside. All that for this. Hmm. I'm not sure where the packaging could be improved. But I suppose, yes, they need the, uh, need the space for the tiles, but they could have put that underneath the <clears throat> oh well, let's have a look at what is actually in here. So let's get down to the table and have a look in more detail. Okay, so here we are with cards. Let's slice into here and get these cards out. You can actually uh, incorporate these into any hunt. It doesn't have to be the um, <coughs> doesn't have to be the campaign for this. It's not a standalone game. It's uh, quite literally all the expansions can mix into one. Um, so we are too fussed about uh, not mixing them in. But if you want to do the campaign, this is just a standalone campaign. Um, right. So what do we have? These are Dracula activation cards. All of them are. 
So we have attack. Attack. Oh, we have attack and withdraw. Hmm. Must all be the same kind of thing, but with different text to them. So we'll have a look at these. There aren't many cards, so I might as well go through them. I must admit, this is the one I was waiting for and I was hoping there was going to be much more in it. I am a little bit disappointed at the, the contents of this box. For the size of the box I'd have thought there would be a lot more, but oh well. <coughs> we have, first of all, the Elder card, which is the Brides of Dracula. And then we have Renfield. There we go. Now he can come out during the day or at night because he's human. He's one of um, Dracula's um, not familiars, what's the word? I can't think. Cultist? I don't know. <coughs> and then we have Dracula himself. And he has the seems to have the day walk ability. <coughs> There we go. So they are the larger of the cards. And now let's look at the four minis that are found in this big box expansion. Let's start off with Dracula's Coffin. It looks a little pale, uh, plain, doesn't it? But hey, that's the bottom. One of the sides the sides first. There we go. Nicely detailed you say. Look at the top. Now that is a nice bit of sculpting there. Very very nice indeed. <coughs> Next, here's Renfield. And I can't remember which story it is, but this character was in one of the movies. I can't, as I say, I can't remember which movie it was. Uh, was actually portrayed by Tom Waits. And then we have <coughs> the Brides of Dracula. There's a lot going on in this miniature. <coughs> I can't, looking at it at first glance, I can't really see where one starts and the, other, and the others end. But <coughs> when we get around to painting this one, it's going to be, shall we say, interesting. <laughs> trying to pick out each individual person. There's three women here. And now the man himself, Dracula. Let's zoom in. Oops. And there we are. <coughs> and slowly turn around and show you each side of the count himself that's a nice nice mini I like the minis I really do like the minis um, as I said sometimes with some of them you can't tell where one detail ends and another one begins but um, <coughs> 
for such a game in minis, these are, you know, you can't complain about these. Um, they're very good quality, they're very sturdy. None of the ones I've had have been damaged. Yeah, okay, some have been bent slightly. But hey, that's packing and transit for you. Changing temperatures, this kind of thing. A bit of boiling water is not going to, you know, not going to harm them. It's an easy fix. But, I say, there's one thing, one criticism I have is because of the scale, some of the details may be flooded very easily when it comes down to priming. Um, <clears throat> and the fact that on some of them it's hard to tell where one piece starts and other piece ends. But, okay, I've had no problems with any of the minis in this uh, particular set. I'm very pleased with them and I'm really looking forward to getting painting them and not only that, but to get playing this game. So, stay tuned because very shortly when we finish painting the core box of Conan not Conan of uh, Mythic Battles Pantheon I'll be taking a break from Greek and Roman <coughs> Greek and Roman Greek and Conan and we'll be starting playing the or starting painting these <coughs> and I've already told Ali that the first one I paint is going to be Nyx because that's her favourite character that's the one that she's been looking forward to seeing <laughs> so um, <coughs> there we are that is Van the Order of Vampire Hunters. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Look, if you have, then uh, there will definitely be more to come. So, that's that from, from the Count and myself. As always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.